Hey, what's up YouTube? Check it out, this is my 83 Toyota Celica. My 1983 Toyota Celica GT. This car used to belong to my father back in like 96, 97. It eventually got passed over to my mother around 99. She drove this car around daily to work and all as an automatic for a couple years. Um, I, I ended up getting the car in high school around 2003. So I had to get the pedals, five speed transmission. I converted it over to manual. I also converted the front end to the newer year flip down lights off of an 85. It used to have the 83 lights that flip back. They don't hide away. So the bumper, corner lights, grill, and the headlights are all off the uh, 85. The wheels that are currently on the car are 16 by 8 American racing wheels. Nothing special. I just picked them up really cheap. They look good on the car, so I just picked them up. I still have my original um, Supra wheels, which I plan to do something with those wheels. But maybe change the size, add a lip to them. On the rear of the car... I converted it over to a Supra tail lights. And it took a decent amount of cutting to get them to fit. The dimensions of the two lights are pretty different. The tag section is um, different compared to the other one because these tail lights are actually a lot wider than the Celica ones. It has a little Apex N1 exhaust. Came off of my cousin's uh, 240. He had an SR in there. Um, when this exhaust doesn't have any leaks, it surprisingly sounds like an SR, which we always thought was pretty damn funny. It has a GTS badge because I lost the GT badge. Being that it's a GT and it's an 83, it has a solid rear end. It doesn't have independent suspension. These springs on this car are currently cut. 
I did this a long time ago. I'll eventually uh, upgrade those inside of the car I only have one seat my other seat got damaged the uh, frame of it so right now I just have one but uh, interior wise I got to get the rug um, on the dash you see that top cap there I actually have a replacement for this whole piece at the house they sell dash caps for the actual dash my dash isn't horrible but it does have cracks in it um, so I plan on getting a dash cap. This steering wheel my mother bought for the car when she got it. Something I requested when I was younger. Um, my father always used to have these on his old Toyotas and stuff. So I'll probably hold on to that. Maybe get it fixed up. I'll probably keep it. I mean, I drove this car, but never really far. Um, my job, school, back when I was in school, everything was really close to the house. There's always uh, short drives with this thing. So the engine that I've been building, the 7M GTE, this is the car that it's for. I've always wanted to do that swap to this car, so let's see how it goes. I like the way that engine looks, and I think it would uh, complement this car, especially being an 80s car. You go ahead and pop the hood. I'll go ahead and uh, get the hood popped show you this uh, 22R got that custom pull cable in the front not all right here we are in the front here this is the 22RE it's a 2.4 liter it's a torquey little engine not a lot of horsepower this also comes in the older Celicas and in the pickup trucks so it's a very reliable, strong engine, but it uh, doesn't have much horsepower. The rev limit on this motor is very low. Um, so you can really only have so much fun with it. But if you need a car to make sure you get to work every day, this engine right here won't let you down.
Thank <laughs> you.